This one is a game changer. Acer ventured into stereoscopic 3D last year with a laptop built for creative professionals with a screen that allowed you to view in 3D without needing glasses. Now, a technology advanced as this one obviously has severe ramifications for gaming. So this year, Predator's beloved Helios 300 laptop is going extra dimensional. This is a really exciting one because it's the first ever 3D gaming laptop and boy, can it game. Inside is a 12th generation Intel Core i9 and an RTX 3080 mobile card. It is powerful, I know, but don't worry, it has some serious cooling to match. Predator put so much into perfecting their thermals. The fans are their own custom engineered design, all of them made of metal and each with a blade less than 0.1 of a millimeter thin. That's crazy. But it's not just what's on the inside that counts because this whole laptop has had a redesign and honestly I am here for it. This is such a departure from the first of the Helioses. Helios? I don't know what the plural is. Um, but that came out in like 2018 and four years ago doesn't feel like that long until you put it in terms of gaming laptops because they have had a serious glow up since then. <laughs> This design is all metal, the branding is subtle, it's quite classy, and they've moved a bunch of the ports over to the back, which I much prefer, and extended this little hinge here to give the exhaust some room while bringing in that beautiful 3D screen a little closer to you. This screen, 3D aside, is so pretty. It's 15.6 inches with a 4K resolution, and with that glass-like glossy finish, oh, it's so gorgeous. It's bright, colorful, it has 100% coverage of the Adobe color gamut, which is fab, and a high color accuracy, so it's amazing if you wanna do any kind of creative work. But even if you're just here for the gaming, this screen makes everything look so good. The refresh rate is 60 hertz, but honestly, it's a 4K 3D panel, okay? It's not for CSGO, it's for Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Witcher, your big AAA games, and even racing and flight sim games too, because the depth of field is something else. So how this display works, Still not wholly apparent to me. The description of the screen that Acer gave was a liquid crystal lenticular lens optically bonded to the top of the panel. But my understanding of this is it's stereoscopic 3D. So it works by creating a pair of images, one for each eye, and then projecting each of these images to where your eyes are, which is tracked by the cameras on the top here. And the good thing about this is, is that it follows your eyes, but also your head movements too. So it gives you a little freedom to move around without compromising the image. Actually, the last time I used Glasses 3 3D was with, I think the Nintendo 3DS, but then that's where the similarities end. Playing Pokemon X on that was not, it was not comfortable. <laughs> I just remember having to stay exactly in one spot for like the 3D gods to bless me with a fully functioning image. Uh, and it would still give me a headache like half an hour in. But this, this is hands down the most comfortable 3D experience I've had. I'm just saying that right now. Now I really want to get into the gaming, but I'm going to quickly run through some of the really cool 3D features it has. First off, you have Spatial Labs Go, which is like an AI software you can run to view any 2D content in 3D. Any content. Uh, photos, videos, it is AI, so some media works better than others. And generally things shot in like the portrait mode of your phone, things with a low aperture, I guess, work really well. And if you view any side-by-side -side style content, it'll merge the two images together to make them 3D. Magic. Also, if your work includes any 3D modeling or animation, you have another software to open these projects and view them in 3D. Don't tune out if this doesn't concern you because honestly, I've spent as much time playing on this as I have with the games. You can open up a model, take one of the examples here, then enlarge, rotate it, really get up close and personal with it. And with the eye tracking, it kind of moves around with you, allowing you to see angles of it you wouldn't usually see. You can also pair this with another monitor so you can edit on the monitor and then render in real time on the 3D display without having to go back and forth. But what happens if you already have an amazing gaming PC? If the idea of a laptop doesn't really tickle your fancy, this same screen comes as a standalone display. This is great if you don't need the extra hardware, want to be able to move it around easily, or are just looking to dip your feet into 3D gaming without the extra price tag. The price of this laptop comes in a little higher than the previous Helios 300s we've seen, but this is taking into account the addition of an i9, a 3080 card, a 4K screen, the highest specs we've seen so far, with glasses-free 3D visualization, so it does add up. 
Okay, that's it. I'm done. I think I've covered everything now, so... Let's play some games. I managed to play a couple games in the studio, Shadow of the Tomb Raider and Forza 4, but I was pleasantly surprised by the sheer amount of games covered by this 3D function. There are around 50 in total with full 3D compatibility, and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. But aside from the games I played, other notable mentions include God of War, The Witcher, Forza 5, and No Man's Sky. Flight sim games on this would be so cool if that's your kind of thing. Um, I'm ashamed to admit they terrify me. I don't know why. There's something about wide open spaces and my driving capabilities that just scare the heck out of me. Whoa! <laughs> Also, a quick warning, as I mentioned earlier, the 3D function works by eye tracking, so as a camera, without eyes, yeah, it doesn't pick up the 3D function, sorry. So while I'm playing the games in 2D mode, you're gonna be like, oh wow, that looks nice. Fuck you, true. And then I'm gonna turn the 3D on and you'll be like, what? what am I looking at here? But you're just gonna have to take my word for it. This looks so good in person and I'll do my best to try and describe it. So while playing the Tomb Raider, the 3D concept worked really well because it has all this beautiful landscaping with, you know, like the soft ray trace light and a kind of low depth of field. So when you're walking around this fiesta, you see Laura in the front and then you'll see someone behind her and then something behind that person and then the lights and the sky, everything else at the very back layers of it. It's really fun to see. Next was Forza 4 and this felt really fluid to the eye in 3D and there's also a level of like moving your head around while you're driving to look around corners that just feels really natural to me. But then again I'm also the kind of person to physically move my controller while I'm turning corners so yeah. But one really cool feature it has is while you're going through water. So I tried doing this a few times to no avail. What happens if I just goodbye cruel world? Oh. A little splish. No splish. Oopsie doopsie. Oopsie doopsie. Oh no 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 no. But if you find a shallow enough body of water to not die and splish splash your way through it, little water specks pick up at you in 3D. Oh, it looks really cool. There's like lots of rain splatters coming up on the screen in front of me, I guess. Also, quick side note, just look at the size of this power brick. That is one hefty boy. Anyway, back to me in the studio. That laptop is so much fun to play on. I'm one of those people that get really easily motion sick and tired from these kind of things. VR is not for me, but this is so much more comfortable. When it changes from the 2D into the 3D, it's like a little surprise for the eyes, but then after that, you just get completely adjusted and immersed. I would definitely recommend trying this one out for yourselves because it is so much fun. I'll leave all the links in the description below, but let me know what you think about the Helios 300 with spatial labs and generally what you think about 3d gaming making a comeback i'll see you next time bye guys